Good morning, everyone. Bill Rentschler in the 1011 Now streaming studio. It is Wednesday. It's a little earlier uh, in the day than when we usually do this segment, but it is time for our uh, regularly scheduled Crime Stopper segment. And joining me today, uh, again from Lancaster County Sheriff's Office, Chief Deputy Ben Houchin. Uh, ben, how are you doing today? Uh, I know you guys are super busy later today, so we appreciate you coming in and spending time with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. I, I really appreciate it. So today, again, usually with our Crime Stoppers segment, we're talking about, uh, again, latest crimes that uh, Lincoln, Lancaster County Crime Stoppers is working to solve, need some tips. Today, again, when we have Lancaster County Sheriff's on, we do something a little different. We kind of go over the Lancaster Lookout. Yes. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about what the Lancaster Lookout is? We kind of went over it a month ago and mm -hmm. we had Captain Vic on, but again, just to remind everyone at home, what is it? Uh, when we talk about Lancaster Lookout? We, we have the Marshall's Fugitive Task Force uh, out of our office, and they put this list together for us. Now, it's not always the most dangerous individuals and things, but it's ones that we think uh, are around, but we're just having some difficulties in locating them. And so we come to the public and say, hey, can you help us out on these and uh, give us some tips and give us some information so that we can clear some of these warrants out and uh, get these individuals under arrest. So again, I think most everyone watching TV shows, movies knows about, you know, top 10 most wanted list. This is kind of Lancaster County Sheriff's version of that, but like you said, you know, not everyone on people on here have done some bad things. Oh, not, yes, they have. Not everyone on here is necessarily the most heinous criminal, but again, maybe trails have gone cold and we need some more tips to find them. Yes, and that's and they do that. And they, um, I'm really proud to say that, you know, we do get a lot of these people and we get them from the tips from the public. Uh, we've been doing this for about 15 years and um, okay. it okay. started so. Um, it kind of faded off for a little bit and you, you know you guys asked us and we started bringing this thing back up together and it's been a big help for us and so i actually have right now pulled up the uh the website uh again so you can find this it's lancasterlookout.com uh, you can yes. also get here from the crime stoppers website but you can see you have the, the, the top 10 right there again and you can get kind of get the information uh about those individuals uh, right there from the website today and we're not going to go through all 10 nope we don't have quite enough time for that but we're going to go through several individuals on this list the first one we'll go ahead and talk about on this list is monica Ostigwin, can you kind of take us through uh, Monica's situation here and why you guys are looking for monica well monica has done some bad things and she has done some violent um uh, crimes that we are concerned about. She's wanted on three warrants, uh, the first being a second degree assault, then theft by receiving, uh, which is a class four felony. And then the third one is a theft by shoplifting. And you know, the, one of the biggest concerns we have with her is she is being wanted and uh, the Lincoln Police Department's looking for her, not for just these warrants, but she fired at an acquaintance of hers two rounds into the car. So she has done some bad things that uh, we need to get her caught. And we have the trails gone cold on her. She likes to run from the police too. Uh, she's crashed into s uh, several buildings, one in uh, Wedgwood on that. She did about $270 theft of clothes and shoes at uh, the Shields here in Lincoln. And so she's just kind of uh, gone awry on mm -hmm. some of these things. And she's dangerous and she's willing to fire rounds. Now, she's also going by the uh, the name of Ryan. Okay. So that may, if people know somebody, uh, uh, so she's not using her real name at this point. Okay, uh, yeah, theft is one thing. That's, you know, maybe a nonviolent offense, but as soon as you start pulling trigger and shooting at people, that kind of changes the calculus. She, yes, and she's become high on our, our, our list of wanting to catch. But again, she's transient. We do not know where she's at at this point. Now, she has been normally hanging around Lincoln, Lancaster County. So this is why we have her on the list and why she, we picked her for this program to talk about. And it looks like, again, from the information you guys kind of have given us, maybe the last contact with Monica slash Ryan was all the way back in 2022. So it's been a while, and that's why we're looking for her. Correct. Okay. Uh, and uh, she has ran from our Fugitive Task Force uh, a couple of different times to uh, a little bit prior to that last one. So, yeah, we uh, we need some information on her. Uh, again, please, uh, 
If you have it, call the Fugitive Task Force, or again, you, you please use Crime Stoppers. You don't have to give your name or anything, as you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so that we can find her, and we are looking for some information to help us uh, place her in custody. Yeah, and I pulled those tips up on the screen. Again, you can contact Lincoln Police at 402-441-6000 to speak with an officer, but again, to make an anonymous tip, you can call 402-475-3600, leave a tip online at lincolncrimestoppers.com, or you can download that P3 app, again, to be eligible for a reward. Yeah. You though you have to make that anonymous tip or go through the P3 app. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Okay. All right. So that's that's our first individual that we uh, are talking about. Our second individual uh, today that uh, again unfortunately has kind of made the list yes. um, is a Zachary Carlstrom. Can you kind of fill me in uh, on Zachary? Sounds like. He's a little bit of an escape artist. Yeah, um, we have some concern. He uh, got sentenced uh, to the Nebraska Department of Corrections back in September 14th of 2020. He had a two-year sentence. Well, he decided uh, he was going to jump the fence, tear off his uh, uh, ankle monitor, and he, he ran for a while. Now, we did end up catching him, uh, put him back in, but again, now he has escaped again, and we have lost where he's at. Now, his original charge was from uh, Fremont, Nebraska area, mm -hmm. and so that was narcotics. Uh, we do not have any information if he's still here. Now, we don't have a whole lot of contacts with him, but knowing your guys' program, then it goes you know, more than just Lancaster County. We thought we'd put him on, and so if people from Fremont or that area know about his whereabouts we would be more than happy with our task force to go or i'm sure the fremont police department or dodge county sheriff's office be more than happy to help place this individual in custody about five nine one sixty five brown hair hazel eyes again i'm i would assume uh deputy houch in that picture he maybe looks a little bit different now yeah than, you know and a lot of times when these individuals run they, they'll do a lot of different things you know mm -hmm. they'll shave they'll cut their hair there you know we've even known them to dye their hair he, it really a strange thing them now uh, with the masks and covid people will start wearing masks you know and it, anymore it doesn't look you know it doesn't bring out people's like what's going on suspicion like it used to prior to covid oh yeah now, now it's just like oh they're being you know cautious or you know or they have it and yeah it, and things of that so i'm sure that it kind of makes your guys' job a little bit more difficult. A little bit more difficult. And, of course, it's uh, pretty warm out now, but a lot of times winter times they, they get their hoodies and they crank them down as tight as mm -hmm. they can, so all you can see is eyes. So, uh, you know, for us in doing these jobs, you start to look at those a little bit different level. You know, somebody may not want us to see yeah, who they what's, are. Yeah, what, what's, what's going on there? A little bit of suspicion. So, again, uh, if anyone comes across uh, or thinks they come, come, come across, again, even if – even if you just have a suspicion, you want people to reach out to you uh, and get in contact with you. Um, if you if people think they have seen either Monica or Zachary, what's the best way to kind of get in touch with you guys uh, to report that? Again, call uh, you know four four one six thousand. Get a hold of Crime Stoppers. We have our Fugitive Task Force, um, uh, LSO Fugitive Task Force at Lancaster.ne.gov. You can call those. Um, you know on. Monica, I'll be right. Please don't make contact. If mm. you do see her and you're positive it's her, she, she probably deserves a 911 call so we can get her in custody if she's willing to start firing rounds at people and doing that. We need to get her. But again, call law enforcement, uh, get a hold of us, and let us know. And even if you're not 100% sure, people sometimes worry about wasting our time, and they don't do that. Um, you know, I'd much rather have a call. It turned out not to be them or then them actually being there and them like, ooh, I didn't want to call. So yeah. yeah. That's my suggestion. To Err on the side of, of caution yeah. and, and, and do it instead of don't. All right. So there's also another big event going on. Oh, yeah. Starting in just a few hours here. Uh, volleyball day in Nebraska. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to be in the stadium. 90,000 if not more, I'm guessing in and around Memorial Stadium, it's probably going to be 100,000 people or more. You guys are obviously going to be going down there later Bye. today. Again, that's why we're doing this a little bit early is because these guys are busy this afternoon. Um, you know, just, just general tips from LSO for Volleyball Day in Nebraska. What should people be on the lookout for? You know, the big thing is it, it's, it's going to be just basically like another football game for yeah. them on that part of it. And I'm, I'm glad the volleyball team has done such a great job and they deserve to have all this. And this is exciting for them. Uh, again, if you, you uh, are going to drink, Uber, get a taxi, drive with a friend, I, there's going to be tailgates and I, we understand that. But we just want everybody to get in there and be safe. 
you know, some of the sad times is, you know, people spend all this money, they get so intoxicated that they can't even get into the game or mm -hmm. they have issues. Uh, it's not going to be overly hot, hot, but, you know, you start adding alcohol and the heat, people start to have medical conditions and things. So we well, just want people to, you know, if you're going to partake, do it wisely and smart. Mix in some waters. Well, yep, mix in water, mix in the food and do that. And I just, everybody get there, have fun and get home safe. You know, we got the big concert after that too. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got all four of these schools from uh, Nebraska being here and it's kind of exciting. So get there early, take your time um, and just enjoy it. And uh, you know what, be patient when you leave because, you know, trying to get 94,000 people out of Memorial Stadium, it just takes some time. And again, just patience. And I think everybody can understand that the air show was last mm -hmm. week and it just it took some time to get everybody in and get everybody out so just take your patience um, be smart with the alcohol and everybody have fun and maybe just a little bit different usually these events are on the weekend yes it's wednesday it is wednesday so not only will you deal with maybe regular five o'clock traffic and you know downtown business traffic on a regular wednesday afternoon wednesday evening but we're also going to have all the uh, all the rest of it with parking and and the rest I'm, of it i'm sure the lincoln police department's very excited about oh, that gosh. i i <laughs> like them again i'm sure a lot of folks uh, it's going to be such a great thing it's going to be a huge celebration of, of volleyball in the state but i can't wait for the weekend <laughs> It's gonna be a long couple days. Well, yeah, and then, and then the, the football—that's in Minnesota. This, yes. On that, It'll th thankfully, on that thankfully, we didn't have two nights. I know. See, I kind of messed up. I didn't take tomorrow off, so I know. I'm. Uh, uh, you know, the funny thing is, with what we do out there, we don't. You know, the game's over. We don't just get to walk away. We uh -huh. get to stay until everything's cleared. So, um, we'll see how late this whole thing goes with the concert. All the way, way back when this was many moons ago. Now, back when I was in college, I did stadium cleanup. Ooh. after a couple games so i was there i think probably as late as you guys were there are a lot of shooters that end up in those stands so again like we said drink uh, you know bring in some water and make sure you're drinking water too yeah. well the thing too is they're serving alcohol they and are that is different than what they normally have done yeah. this is the first you know other than the garth brooks concert mm -hmm. and hopefully we don't have as many uh empty containers on the field as we did after that one because there was a ton on that so it'll be interesting on that but again everybody just uh be careful mm -hmm. all right thank you so much chief deputy ben uh, houchin again for jumping into the 10 11 now streaming studio again joining us for our weekly crime stopper segment w houchin just before i let you go anything else you want to you want to add about the segment today volleyball day or just anything else in general you know what like we said just make sure you uh, you're safe hey and we'd really appreciate a phone call if you uh, know these uh two individuals or anybody else on that list or if anybody else you know that has warrants you know we'll t we'll take those phone calls and we I want people to know we act on that mm -hmm. and uh, we take the thing seriously. So when you call, we do look into it and we try to make those arrests. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Chief Deputy Ben Houchin again for joining us in the 1011 Now streaming studio. Again, as always, again, keep it tuned to 1011, both on air and online for all of the latest news, weather, and sports. We appreciate everyone for tuning in and watching today. Hope everyone, again, if you're heading down to Volleyball Day in Nebraska, has a good time. Again, like we said, be safe, try and be responsible, but hope everyone has a great time. So we'll go ahead and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, everyone, for watching.